Well, for a while I was thinking uh, should I film something or not, and okay, finally I decided to film a new video. What to say? Same old, same old in the world. And yeah, uh, I'm now doing consultancy job. I cannot disclose because of the contract uh, where I, where am I and what I'm doing exactly. But uh, uh, because of that, uh, I will not be in position to film very often uh, until, let's say, mid-June. So those who like my content, I, I kindly ask you to be patient and stay with me. And uh, uh, those who haven't su subscribed, uh, they can do it and uh, press that uh, bell so that uh, notifications will come when I publish new video. I'm sad because, you know, uh, I don't know how much uh, all this helps, you know, what I'm talking about. Uh, the world really is gone crazy and uh, I don't see many options uh, to improve the things. We witnessed uh, again a big time failure of uh, uh, Israeli PR machinery, which uh, really has a big issue to justify something that uh, cannot be justified. So that's why, as I said uh, before, it's not uh, all about uh, PR uh, managers or spin doctors. Some things uh, you cannot justify, you know, killing civilians, uh, nobody can justify. And the same thing with the Hamas, you know, they, they cannot justify killing civilians and uh, kidnapping uh, hostages. The only new thing that I noticed uh, is, you know, believe it or not, Piers Morgan started asking uh, real journalists questions. Piers, we're fighting against Hamas a genocidal terror organization. I've seen your coverage, your tremendous coverage of what Hamas did to us on October 7th. You and I know they want to do it again and again and again. That's their words, not mine. Now we'll do what we have to do to go after Hamas, to avoid civilian casualties, something that we have successfully done. Out of that Hamas number that you just gave, more than 14,000 are terrorists that we took out. There's more than 25,000 Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists how taken many, off so How many back. civilians do you believe you've killed? We, we don't have exact figures, as you know, it's the fog of war. But you've got exact numbers for Hamas terrorists you've killed. Why wouldn't you know how many civilians you've killed? Because obviously our focus is to go after the Hamas terrorists. And, uh, no, we hang on, do I mean, that does imply that you, you're putting a bigger premium on killing Hamas terrorists in terms of numbers and accountability than you are on innocent civilians. That can't be right, surely. If you know exactly how many Hamas terrorists you've killed, you must know how many civilians you've killed. Otherwise, you're prioritizing Piers, the lives of terrorists over innocent people. Piers, with respect, don't put words into my mouth, please. I didn't say exactly 14,000. I said around 14,000. Whereas Hamas will come out with precise uh, numbers that statisticians well, give me will a look at. ballpark numbers for civilians. Well, well of course, you, can, you can use the ballpark uh, as far as uh, the Hamas figures, which I reject as being false. Well, if they're so, false, why uh, would you give me those? <laughs> I had. I gave you the the numbers that I had. No, you told me and you I've, know you know how many Hamas <laughs> terrorists you've killed, but you don't seem to have any idea how many civilians you've killed. I'm just bemused. Why wouldn't you keep count of both? I, I don't have that information to give you, uh, Piers. If I did, I well, would. You literally no idea how many civilians you've been killing. I can tell you definitively that our aim is to go after Hamas. No, hang on, I, I, I'm sorry to push you on this. That's quite extraordinary. You're an official spokesman for the Israeli government, and you have no idea how many civilians you've killed. I thought you just told me that you were particularly careful about 
not killing civilians. But if you don't know how many you've killed, how can you say that with any certainty? Um, he really grilled Israeli spokesperson. Because even if you were to go by a ratio of the Hamas figures, we would still be far ahead of any That wasn't Western my army. question. You know it wasn't my question. I, I, don't, I don't have the information. Well, you literally have no to... idea how many civilians you've killed. It's not that I don't know. I'm not authorized to give the information. I don't have the information. That's complete you. nonsense. Why are you authorized to give me the number of terrorists you've killed, but not the number of civilians? I don't understand. Can you explain? Piers, <laughs> we will go after Hamas. We will ensure that we... Um, but you want me to believe you're being incredibly careful about how many civilians you're killing and you have an amazing exemplary record, but you don't know how many civilians you're killing. So how do I know you've been careful? Piers, when the dust settles, we will come out with the proper numbers. Hamas runs to the press mm -hmm. daily but you, with hey, false... When the dust settles, a lot of people will have died and you know how many Hamas you've killed, but you don't know how many civilians you've killed. And I'm just asking you why. Why is it you've kept a record of one, but not the other? I, I personally don't have that information to give to you. You can ask me over and over. I'm not going to come up with more information. I don't you, personally you don't have know. It. I don't have that information for you. Well, you're an official government spokesman for the Israeli government, and you have no idea. Piers, I, I came on here to focus on what's going on with the well, war. Well, actually, you came on here to answer my questions, yeah. I think. Yeah, and, and I, I don't have an answer for you for that. And so. I didn't intend to press you on this point because I assumed that you would not respond the way you have. But I've never had an Israeli spokesman who simply said, I have no idea. Particularly after you boasted about no. the fact that you've been very smart in the way you've avoided killing civilians. How do you know if you've got no idea how many you've killed? Because I know the way in which the IDF operates. Okay, so do something new. In Ukraine, the situation is uh, getting worse. Ukrainian armed forces and let's say I saw recently uh, Russians are making uh, another type of drones uh, you know those uh, not uh, flying objects but uh, you know more caterpillar with uh, heavy machine guns and stuff like that so it shows uh, how uh, human lives uh, uh, are devaluing and uh, modern warfare will be more about drones and uh, technologies and uh, brave soldiers will, will be killed by, uh, by some uh, unknown people, you know, far away playing with joystick, you know, and what for do you need another kind of training? That's the question. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about this, about the uh, introduction of drones, drone technology in warfare? You know, basically, what I think is that uh, the world is becoming dehumanized. Well, is it the correct way to say? It? I don't know. Welcome to dystopian world where the word peace is almost forbidden. You know, the students are still protesting throughout the United States, even in UK, and you know, and they call for peace. And what they get, you know, <laughs> they are anti-Semites because they want peace. So I don't know, maybe I'm stupid, maybe I cannot understand those things, but I think I do understand. But, but the question is, how much do you understand what's going on? And if you think it's worth watching, so please watch and follow my channel. Wish you all the best.